Hello everyone, welcome to True Crime and Tarot, I am Natalie and today's case I'm going to be talking to you about is Alfredo Jimenez Mota. So he was born on February the 16th 1980 in Hermosillo in Senora, Mexico, and he had disappeared on April the 2nd, 2005, at age 25, and he had been missing just over 17 years. There is a monument that is in place for him, which is a plaque at the Plaza del Tinaco in Hermosillo, Senora, Mexico. He is a Mexican male. The education he had was communications, and his occupation was a journalist and a editor. He was an employer um, at the El Imparcial in also some organizations of an attorney general of Culiacan, Sinaloa, in Mexico. I do apologize if I can't say these pronunciations correct. Um, he is known for reporting on public safety, organized crime, the government involvement in the drug trafficking in the region. His parents are Jose Jimenez Hernandez and his mum is Esperanza Mota Martinez and he has a sister also called Leticia Jimenez Mota. He does has a um, award of the international editor of the year 2005. So he did have a career which was minded a bachelor as well. Alfredo had begun his work in the state of Signola upon earning his degree at the Universidad de Ocadante in Culiacan in communication. The Jimenez family are Catholic and they attended Cristo Rey de Impalm where Jimenez sang in a choir in his early years. Jimenez enjoying boxing weighed in at 240 pounds. Some more about his career then. So the career of Alfredo Jimenez Mota began in the newspapers while he was still a student in Culiacan where he worked for El de Sol de Culiacan and El Debate and Noroste in Signola and began to report in the genre of the Nota Roja tabloid style crime stories and he was also a director of some social communication um, of the Attorney General Office of Culiacan Signola in late 2004. Jimenez joined El Imparcial where he often wrote stories um, that was very dangerous enough that editors did not want to print out this byline but Jimenez insisted on the credit. He disappeared then five months into his job. Prior to his disappearance, Jimenez was investigated in the government's involvement in the drug trafficking in all the regions that he was residing in. There had been um, possible involvement with the Beltran, Leva and Signola cartels um, and the later involving drug lords Ismail, El Mayo, Zambada, Garcia and Joe Quinn, which is El Chapo, um, Guzman. The United States Drug Enforcement Administration was also investigating drug trafficking in the US from this northern border region on April the 2nd, 2005. Jimenez was being followed and photographed, which led to him seeking refugee at Los Grillos uh, restaurant at Hidalgo Hi Square until he could safely make his way back to his own office. But prior to this incident, he was receiving death threats from an unknown source which led to his vigilance on the job and also his personal life. And it was later that same evening then when Jimenez, Jimenez sorry, um, disappeared, never to be seen, never to be heard from again. And according to all his friends and his colleagues, Jimenez failed then to show up for drinks at a restaurant where they planned to speak about the day's events. And during investigations, Jimenez caused a stir in a state attorney general's office by his persistence. He had also angered the police chief while examining some connections between the apartments and local drug traffickings. There was a lot of conflicting accounts on what happened the evening that Jimenez 
had gone missing and in one account there is a letter which states that the remains of Jimenez could be found in one of the three safe houses in Villa Aitzen. In another account, two women who claim to have been kidnapped but got away say that they overheard that the captors speaking of Jimenez was being held at the same location prior to his execu execution. The remains of Jimenez have yet to be found, so there is no perpetrators that have been charged in this case, so it remains unsolved. And in an effort to silence reporters, the Mexico ranks the 11th of all countries and first in Latin countries in the cartel-related homicides of journalists, while there are many suspects in the disappearance of Alfredo Jimenez and the case has never been solved. So in November 2005, a suspect role um, in Rique Para and a drug trafficker was brutally murdered. Jimenez had disappeared, um, his disappearance, sorry, marked the first case of missing or murdered journalist in the Hermosillo, the capital of the state of Senora. So this was within days of his disappearance that the Inter-American Press Association, the IAPA and Rapid Response Unit, the URR, began to investigate the IAPA demanded all authorities to get involved in an effort to try and stop the murder of journalists and to support the efforts of the freedom of the expression. The case was taken to the Deputy Attorney General for specialised investigation in all the organisations of crimes against all the journalists. And this had um, vowed the case that it was to be resolved and that the IAPA and over 40 newspaper directors met in August 2005 to try to discuss some solutions and to build strength in the journalism. While the reporting arm of this group called the Phoenix Group after the similar investigated pro project in the United States after Don Boles was murdered by the Mafia revealed federal and state officials could be involved in the disappearance of Jimenez, which is the administrated arm issue in the declaration of Hermosillo. So as a set of concrete steps, the state had taken to ensure safety of the journalists with the growing intimidation of the reports. The IAPA published a map which provided journalists location of high risk and safety issues. The family of Alfredo held a memorial on the 10th anniversary of his son's disappearance with the memorabilia and activities. The community of Hermosillo had celebrated his memory by attending a unveiling of his plaque being put up. And this had been um, placed at the Plaza del Tinico um, in his own honour. So in a letter to the attorney, the General of Mexico, the Committee to Protect the Journalists, wrote, The Committee to Protect Journalists would like to express its concern about the fate of Alfredo. We are worried about our colleagues' safety and we urge you to conduct a timely and thorough investigation located for Alfredo and bring him to safety. P the CPG will be monitoring an investigation and respectively asking for some form of information to anyone that has any regards in this case. So the colleagues of Alfredo demanded the Attorney General of the Republic, the DGR, to step up its investigation and the consensus in the media community was those who were passively involved um, where they were sweeping the case under the rug since the disappearance of Alfredo and the fight for quiet um, the press has made reporting difficult. Koichiro Matsura, Director General of UNICEFCO, had said that in the statement that also included Alfredo, crimes against journalists and editors constitute and grievously offences. That is also against the democracy. Alfredo was post-human award um, the International Editor Award 2005 for his bravery into journalism. So this is what I can find so far on this case. So I decided to do a tarot card reading on this case and there is some questions that I asked um, and they are number one, what happened to 
Alfredo Jimenez Mota. Two, who was involved in the disappearance of Alfredo Jimenez Mota? Three, where is Alfredo Jimenez Mota? And four, what is the final outcome to be for Alfredo Jimenez Mota's case? So number one. What happened to Alfredo Jimenez Mota? And we had the first card, which was the Ten of Swords. So there was a death or a certain specific ending. There was a painful situation that had came out of the blue due to a form of trickery and betrayal. Reverse King of Wands. He was prone to a lot of aggression, a lot of arrogance. So it, it, this could be to do with... Um, Alfredo being aggressive or there's a male that he came in contact that was very aggressive and he was prone to this outburst. Knight of Cups. There was a decision where action was took and acting purely about how they felt and trying to explore their own passions and what they wanted. King of Cups, so there was a father figure who made a smart decision and put in place some boundaries and has a lot of emotions that took over him. Reverse Three of Wands, there was a struggle putting plans into place, there was disappointment and frustrations and choosing to play things safe. Empress, there was a female who may have been pregnant at this time that was be being surrounded by forest um, beaches or lakes. Reverse Nine of Pentacles, so there was some reflection on his own self-worth and trying to learn something new. Knight of Cups, someone acted upon their impulses, upon their feelings, they were very charming, very caring and also they had some action that they wanted to pursue and they had some ideas and decisions they wanted to put in place. King of Cups, so there was a lot of um, there was a lot of emotions and gaining control over them. There was a lot of boundaries put in place and being very level-headed. This may be that father figure that was involved. Reverse Three of Wands, there was a struggle involving frustration, disappointments, and playing things safe. Ace of Swords, there was a breakthrough and trying to seek justice involving a hollow victory. Reverse page of cups. There was something that was kept as a secret in case things didn't go as planned. There was a very immature person who was very vulnerable and also very dramatic. Sun. So there was happiness, a possible pregnancy or a marriage that had some significance here. Reverse page of wands. There was something that was wanted to be put into action. There was issues to do with being weighed down with a lot of responsibilities and also some troubles. Who was involved in the disappearance of Alfredo Jimenez Mota? We have the reverse queen of pentacles. So there was a female who put a lot of energy into putting her own needs and her work first. Reverse justice. So something was not morally right at this time. They'd, um, there was a mistake and hoping that no one found out about it. There was also someone that wasn't willing to own up to their own actions and their mistakes. Two of Wands. There was a plan of action and exploring an overseas travel. Four of Wands. There was a happy home where there was a reunion or purchasing something new. Six Pentacles, there was a raise in a salary, there was also helping people out, being very generous and contributing to something. Ace of Cups, there was security and a helping hand. There may have been an invitation that came in, could have been potentially to do with um, a relationship um, that had blossomed or a pregnancy that may have been significant in this case. Two Swords, there was a decision that was a bit challenging, but was very unsure on what to do. Reverse Seven of Swords. So there was some hidden secrets in hopes that no one would reveal it. There may have been an extra marital affair and someone ha was very reluctant to keep this as a secret. Three of Cups. There was a celebration around friends or family. Reverse Six of Cups. There was clingliness to someone 
or something from the past and possibly being judged by someone. Reverse Nine of Cups. They had involvements of drinking, partying, drugs. They had lost touch with what was important to them. Five Pentacles. There was poverty, a bad finance. There was also being isolated and being alone. Where is Alfredo Jimenez, Mota? Reverse Eight of Swords. There was being very trapped and being unable to move forward. Reverse Ace of Pentacles, there was hesitancy regarding an offer and an invitation opportunity. There had been some risks. Queen of Swords, there was a female who was very cold-hearted and demands authority and don't go sugar-coating things. She's very upfront and very honest. Four of Cups, there's invitations, offers, opportunities that was turned away due to not working or doing anything like that again um, and also having a lot of things going on. Devil, so there was jealousy, trouble with someone that was holding them back. This could be to do with the relationship. There were some habits, dependencies and some form of involvements. Page of Pentacles, there was some possibility of things being revealed due to a young person. Reverse Seven of Wands, there's a lot of pressures weighing him down, but tried to stay strong and kept on fighting. Reverse Chariot, there was a change of heart or a direction. What is the final outcome to be for Alfredo Jimenez Mota? We have the Knight of Cups. So there is a romantic person who's caring that took action on their emotions about someone or something. Eight Pentacles. There's to work long hours on the case and being committed to improve and make some form of decisions. Knight of Swords. So someone was highly driven and very action oriented that dives straight into something without planning it. Hangman. There is a situation to be put on hold. Reverse King of Swords. There's a male who has misused his power that also uses his charm to try and manipulate, persuade someone to do something and also there is taking advantage of someone. Two of Cups. There is to be peace of mind between two people about a form of communication and also some respect. Reverse Seven of Cups. There's several choices to be chosen from and the need to choose wisely. Reverse Judgment. There is to be someone that is to clear up some regrets, shame and guilt. Reverse Omit. There is to be a separation that is having some involvement and also then to reconnect. Reverse Fool. So someone took risks or is about to take some risks. Emperor, there is to be a father figure to be involved in some way that is to bring stability and security and is going to be very wise, that has that good role model energy about him. Hierophant, there is to be religion or spirituality involvements and partaking in something. Ten of Swords, there is to be an ending involving a death. Okay then everyone, so that is the case of Alfredo Jimenez Mota, that is what I could research on him and his case and also my tarot side of the cards. Um, if there's any other cases you'd like me to do, please feel free to comment in the comment section below and if you enjoy my videos, please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And until next time, take care.